Dear Chuck Norris, can I call you Chucky? How about Chaz? Yeah, figured that'd be cool. How often do you work out? Every day for the last 80 years? Yeah, I heard you drink baby spit to stay alive so long. But then again, I talk to dumb people. I guess you know why I'm writing you this letter or a combination of letters, depending on how you look at it. The jokes are everywhere. Jokes everywhere. Jokes, 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 jokes. I know you've heard all your jokes. We're 10 years past the prime of it, but you're still embracing them with your loving slash money-filled arms. Do you deserve this? Probably. But why you? Why not Bill Ingvall or Zach Morris? When Zach's time, Chuck? All he got was that one Jimmy Fallon thing, and it was huge. He deserves more. First time I heard a CNJ, Chuck Norris joke, I was eating in the cafeteria in college. My buddy Ben came up, and he just made this like baller joke out of nowhere. So I was like trying to match him. I was like making up stuff and coming up, and he was like spitting out stuff. I was like, Ben is not this great at making up stuff on the spot. Turns out he'd read a ton online, and I just hadn't been informed of the meme yet. <gasps> I remember thinking to myself, Francis? That's what I call myself inside my head. Makes me seem fancy. Francis? He is besting you with multiple complex improv ingenuity. Turns out he had skipped to the end and seen the answers. He didn't have to just come up with them on the spot like a Dalmatian. I liked them. I used them. But it, if you have not built the life for yourself out of it, it's seriously been drilled into the ground for 10 years to the point where we get aggravated when we hear people say it, but you're still probably making money off of it. And I have to work in education. I'm impressed at you, you fast-punching sidekick haver. You have taken on wildebeest and armed robbers alike with your elegant and ferocious swipe kicks. You've also made some clean breaks on our funny bones. I would say the sun is out of my eyes. I would say the sun is out of my eyes, but I can't because my hat's off to you. I will leave you with one of my favorites, an oldie, but a goodie. When Chuck Norris jumps in the ocean, he doesn't get wet. The ocean. I bid you adieu in French, if I knew any French. But alas, I don't. I guess this is a goodbye. Love, Tyler. Whoa.